Hey guys, it's Lucas, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through on how to disable hotkeys on Windows 10. It's a simple process, so we'll jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, uh, we have to download a program called Auto Hotkey. And let me show you here. So this is the website here, autohotkey.com. And basically, it's, it, it's a pretty powerful program um, that allows you to kind of automate um, different things. Um, so it's like a scripting language for Windows. So that's what we'll be doing in order to um, disable our hotkeys. So this will this this will be a link down in the description. Also, you're going to want to get a, a code editor, a, a basic code editor like Notepad++, like this one here. And the link will also be in the description as well. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do um, after you got all that downloaded and extracted and everything, uh, go to our desktop and we're going to right click anywhere and we're going to hover over new and we're going to click auto hotkey script. And you can name it whatever. So let's just name this one uh, disable hotkey. Okay, so we're gonna right click this and we're gonna hit edit with Notepad++. Okay, so once this open, we have a set of uh, words and phrases here. We don't have to worry about that. Now to disable hotkeys, I'm gonna give you an example here. So let's say I want to disable the Windows key. So I actually already uh, have a script ready here that I've already edited. Um, so I have here this script here so this script here will disable the Windows key. So basically this little pound symbol represents the Windows key. And the reason why, how I know that is if I go to AutoKey's website, AutoHotKey's website, if you go to the usage and syntax, they have like a little reference guide here. So that this will also be uh, linked in the description as well. So this hotkey section here kind of gives us uh, hotkey modifier symbols. And so we see here that the pound symbol is represents the Windows logo key. Okay, so what I did here, I also did a, wrote a script to disable alt tab function or hotkey, uh, disabling Windows key plus tab, disable left Windows key, disable right Windows key. So if you want to play around with it just to start out, then you can go ahead and write this script down. Uh, we can uh, write this script and we can, we can link it in the description if you want to just copy and paste it. So, so as you can see, um, if I currently hit the Windows key, um, the start menu opens up, right? Okay, so let's try to run our script that we just made, right? So let's go here and we're going to edit the disable hotkey script and it just opens up as a new tab. So let's just, you know, copy this script here and we're going to paste it in this new file. And we can go ahead and save that. Okay. So now that we've created the script, we're now going to right click disable hotkey and we're going to hit run script. So the script is running right now and the way we can know is we go to our little menu bar here and we can see that auto hotkey is currently running. So right now, if I click my windows key, nothing happens. If I do alt, see it alt works right now, but if I do alt tab, my screen doesn't uh, show the pop-up of my most recent windows that are open. Okay, so now let's disable this script. We're gonna hit exit, and right click. Now I hit Windows key and it's working again. If I do Alt tab, it shows right here. So if you want to disable and play around with any other hotkeys, I would just go to the 
auto hotkey modifier symbol page and just look through all the symbols and see what you can disable, whatever works for your purposes. So I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions or concerns, let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.